Hey guys, welcome to Keys Moz. My name is David Fine, and today we are going to be talking about the pink spotted hawk moth. It is a common moth down in the Florida Keys, and they are pretty common throughout the Southeast United States, but it's a really neat treat to see a pink moth. So guys, check out the video as we tell you about our experience with this pink beauty down the Florida Keys, but don't forget to like the video if you learn something. Uh, comment down below what, whatever you want me to focus on next. I'll try and make a video. If, if I can find that creature, I'll make a video on it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But guys, we've got 600 moth species in the Florida Keys. This is just one, but we're gonna tell you all about this, the pink spotted hawk moths. Check the video out. Okay, the pink spotted hawk moth, Agrius cingulata, is uh, without a doubt, one of the larger and quite attractive moths of the Florida Keys. Uh, down here in the, I live in Broward County in uh, the Fort Lauderdale area, and I've never seen one in Broward. Actually, I take that back. I've seen one in Fort Lauderdale in all the years that I've been here. Uh, but I'm sure they're here more, but they are a lot more common in the Florida Keys. And in fact, some nights when we put out mercury vapor lights, we can actually see a good number of these guys. Uh, and when they rest, they rest with their wings folded down over the top of their hind wing and on top of the abdomen, and you never see their pink spots. So you really don't know when you see a big gray sphinx moth, if it is the pink spot or if it is Manduca sexta, the tobacco hornworm because they're both common in the keys and their forewings are practically identical. So it's their hind wings that are different in the color of the spots. So hard to tell when they're resting. So you gotta kind of poke and prod at them and see if they'll open up and show you their underside and their pink spots. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go into uh, uh, my website here and go on to my page for the pink spotted hawk moth, Agrius cingulata. And here we go, guys. They feed on morning glory. So there's all different species of morning glory flowers. They are actually in the potato family and they actually will eat potatoes. So if you farm potatoes, you probably are very familiar with the caterpillars of this guy. Um, and in fact, pretty much all of these species will feed on potato, the leaves of potato vines that the caterpillars will destroy your vines. And, uh, we've found this species on Key Largo, Bahia Honda Key, No Name Key, and I believe on Big Pine as well. Uh, I need to uh, update that. But check out this month map here. We have found them in almost every month. I mean, uh, probably can be found in every month. We just haven't recorded them from every month. But that's a that's a wide range. So they're pretty common moth. They can be found all year long and probably live throughout the Keys. And they're common at lights. We put out mercury vapor lights and black lights and they come readily to those lights. And we can you can actually see them nectaring on morning glory flowers. They got that big long proboscis, typical of most sphinx species. And you know when those morning glory flowers open up early in the morning as the sun is coming up, the, the pink spot hawk moth can be readily seen uh, in twilight hours nectaring on those flowers. So great moth, guys. Um, not a whole lot more info on it. I've actually never reared this species, so that's probably one of my next projects to see if I can find caterpillars. Got to go hunt down some caterpillars on some morning glory vines. But this is a beautiful moth we have here in South Florida and the Florida Keys, and we hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about our experience with this creature. Guys, hope you liked that video on the pink spotted hawk moth. It, it is a beauty. We love finding them. I don't see a whole lot of them in the mainland on South Florida that much, but boy, oh boy, are they common in the Florida Keys and we like seeing them. So guys, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're trying to build our subscription base and let us know what you want to see next. Comment down below uh, what species you want to see focused on this channel. We'll make a video. Uh, guys, shout out to the Southern Lepidoptera Society. 
who are a bunch of guys and gals that really, I really appreciate their friendship because they spend their whole lives studying the butterflies and moths of the southern United States. And for 35 bucks, you can become a member at, of the Southern Lepidopterist Society and have access to, uh, to all these folks and just have a great community built around the study of butterflies and moths. Link to the website is in the description of this video. So guys, go ahead and click on that and join the club. So guys, take care. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. And go find you a pink moth. Bye now.